Today, drawing contest winners, opening the mail, and probably a ton more. Coming up on Friday Night Vinyl. First thing is first, I got two contests. I had two contests going on. Let's draw for the winners. First, let's draw for the two winners in my Oob Cube Record Storage Crate giveaway. Each winner will win a pair of Oob Cube Record Storage Crates. This one is super easy to enter. All you had to do is uh, comment on the contest video and your comment used the word Oob Cube. So here we go. The first winner is Doug A. Doug wrote Oob Cube please. All right, congratulations, Doug. Stick around to the end of these draws, and I'll let you know what you have to do next. Next winner is... Next winner is Gregory Pegg. Gregory wrote, Oob Cube looks pretty cool. Right on. Next, let's draw for the winner in my Channel 33 RPM t-shirt giveaway. For this one, all you had to do is leave a comment letting me know what your favorite shirt in the Channel 33 RPM merch store is. Okay, the winner is, oh my gosh, I'm gonna mess this up. I don't wanna butcher your name. I will read the comment though. Channel 33 RPM t-shirt is my favorite and I'd love to do some crate digging at my local vinyl store as well, wearing it. Awesome. Congratulations to all the winners. This is what you have to do to claim your prizes. All three of you, drop me a note at Channel 33 RPM at gmail.com by March 3rd. We will work out all the details when you get in touch with me. I have a process we have to go through to confirm your identity. And once that all is confirmed, the Oob Cubes and the Channel 33 RPM t-shirt will be on your way, on their way. They'll be on their way. Awesome draws. Thank you to everyone who entered. Just a quick side note on the Channel 33 merch store. Last time I talked about the merch, I said uh, I wasn't sure about this particular shirt. The uh, Never mind the digital, I'll listen to analog. I was debating whether to put it in the store. This one is now available. If you're interested, check it out. Love vinyl? Tell the world with a Channel 33 RPM t-shirt. Check out the Channel 33 RPM store today. Check this out. My buddy Max came over a week or two back and he recently picked up this integrated amp. This is a Pioneer SA9500 from 1976. Beautiful, beautiful amp. I just want to show it off here because I loved it. It was great. Uh, we had a couple of drinks at the bar and very carefully cracked this uh, amp open and just cleaned out the pots and whatnot using um, using some deoxid. Got it rocking. So yeah, I thought this was a gorgeous uh, silver face amplifier from the 70s. He also has the matching tuner. As I said, I love that old silver face stuff. So Max, congratulations on the gear, man. Very, very cool. <laughs> I'm going to get to the mail in a second, but first I want to show you these two records. These are from a band out of Sweden called Children of the Sun. And I talked about these guys a few months back and I hadn't had a chance at that time to pick up the vinyl, the records. Well, I finally did. Uh, two of them, Roots and flowers. So if you haven't heard of Children of the Sun, it's kind of like this hippie dippy psych rock from, from Sweden. A definite throwback to the 60s and early 70s. It's mostly female vocals, leans more to the mellow side, but there are some rockers. Some of the harmonies are reminiscent of ABBA, believe it or not. Not that they sound like ABBA. It's probably a combination of female singers and maybe a bit of that Swedish, ac Swedish accent. Um, out of these two, I prefer Roots, but uh, Flowers is pretty darn good. I bought this one off Bandcamp. It took a while to get here. I actually ordered it, like, I think in October or November, and then it got lost in the mail, so they sent me a second one. This one I found on Amazon, I think for like 20 bucks Canadian or something. Anyway, if you're looking for something different, looking for some hippy-dippy, mellowish, psychedelic stuff from Sweden, check out Children of the Sun. Let's open the mail. First up, this one intrigued me. I got an email from someone representing the makers, the creators of this new horror movie, like an old school horror movie, asking me if I'd be interested in checking out and, and showing the, the soundtrack on the channel. So I'm an old school horror fan. I love that stuff. Love slasher movies, so yeah. Of course, I'm going to say yeah, but I was also really interested in the movie. The movie is called Kill Her Goats. You heard that right. Kill Her Goats. It comes out in March. Catchphrase for the movie is no body is safe. 
I love it. So the description on the website of this movie is Audra's graduation gift is her dream home. That's a nice graduation gift, man. I think uh, I got a watch for mine. I was happy with a watch, but a house. Uh, but it soon becomes a living nightmare when some uninvited guests come to her homecoming party who aren't very subtle about the fact they don't approve of the home of the home's new owner. So Kane Hodder plays the killer in this movie, and Kane uh, previously played Jason Voorhees in four different Friday the 13th films. New Blood, Jason Takes Manhattan, Jason Goes to Hell, Jason X. The producers told me it's an old, old school slasher. All practical effects, no CGI. The town this movie takes place in is West Craven. West Craven, right? And it's advertised. Advertisements proclaim there's three times the number of playmates in this movie. Anyway, here is the soundtrack on vinyl. There's the cover. There's the back. I'll show you the inside because it's pretty cool. Uh, Kane Hodder kills. It doesn't say Kane Hodder stalls. Stars. Stars. Kane Hodder kills and kill her goats. Original motion picture soundtrack. So this is not the score. This is the soundtrack. Got the custom inners. There's one. There's the back. I actually took the hype sticker off the front and put it here. Uh, Kill Her Goats Limited Collect Collector's Edition includes 8x10 set of 8 lobby cards. I'll show you that. Murder Madness Splattered Colored LP. 150 grams. Full color production still sleeves. Large exclusive sticker and 12 killer tracks. 12 killer tracks. The music on here spans a bunch of genres. Modern rock, sultry vocal jazz, country pop. Here's the other inner sleeve. I assume these are the stars of the movie. I love, I'm gonna see, the, I'm, I wanna see this movie. If I have a chance, I'd like to review it for this channel. There's the vinyl, there's the record. But there's more, and these are the lobby cards they were talking about. I'll just quickly show you these. Okay, they're pretty good. I assume that's the killer. Otherwise, I don't understand this, the title of this film, Kill Her Goats. I'm not sure if I get it, but I'm intrigued. Definitely a movie I want to check out. Are you into old school slashers, horror, that kind of stuff? I grew up with it. I still dig it, man. I still dig it. And there's something else in here as well. A little sticker. And did I show you the gatefold? If not, there's the gatefold. Creepy, right? Kill her goats. I'm gonna leave a, a, a email, a website address right here so you can check it out. Packaged well, pressing is good. Certainly piques my curiosity about this movie. Kill her goats. So thank you, dear Kill Her Goats movie makers for sending this over. Wish you good luck with the film. Oh, by the way, I was on the website and noticed that they also have a Kickstarter now to issue this movie on VHS, if that's your thing. Different packages. So we're checking out. Kill her goats. I got one more for you. Brandon. Brandon. Thank you, Brandon. Brandon from Vinyl Moon sent this one over to me. You've probably heard of Vinyl Moon. I've heard other YouTube channels talk about it before. It's um, another one of these record of the month clubs. This one's different though. It's a bit different. It's very different. I'll tell you why in a second, but first check out the packaging. Really, really nice. Really nice. Some time and effort went into putting this all together. There's the record. Pink. The Palm Rose Vinyl Moon. So let me tell you about this company. This this is gonna make more sense. And I dropped something here. This is gonna make this will make more sense in a second. Um, but Vinyl Moon is a record of the month club, and every record, every time they put a record every month, it's a compilation. They call it a mixtape. 
mixtape is tape, so this is a record. It's, it's a compilation of various artists that they put together, and they design custom artwork, and they put a lot of a lot of time into it. And that's the different part about it, right? Like a lot of the record of the month clubs are kind of just um, they pick a record for you. This they uh, they put together a bunch of songs, like theme of songs. They all tie together. This one has to do with vacation, and I'll show you why. It also comes with it comes with this, the Palm Rose. It comes like a little old school motel. A key, right? The keychain. So this record is yeah, mostly alt pop, some indie rock, some electronic, some electronic music. Flows well. It's mostly mellow. It's good vacation music. They call it the Palm. What did I say it was called? The palm Rose. And that's kind of the vibe of it, right? Mellow. Soundtrack to chill days while on holiday. Long sunny chill days while on holiday. Variety of artists from a bunch of different countries around the world. So, yeah, this is my first experience with Vinyl Moon. So, thank you, Brandon, for uh, sending this over and exposing me and Channel 33 viewers to what you are all about. I like the concept. I dig it. I'll leave a link to Vinyl Moon below this video. Dear 33ers, what have you picked up lately? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. I will be back again in a couple of days. Until then, Keep on spinning.